we could also go on a quick journey if you want. I can even put on some music and people can have that experience and we can walk you through I would, one. I would love that. And then yes, that can let's do that. You can go to that way you'll have a little experience. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It'll be a nice way for us to get grounded as we get started. So let's just take a few deep breaths. Yeah, sit up nice and tall. And I invite you to close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. And I'm going to put on some light music in a moment. And just focus on your breath to start. Really with each inhale, allowing your stomach to expand, your belly to fill. Slowly softening on your exhale, relaxing your stomach in towards your spine. Relaxing the muscles in your face, softening your shoulders and jaw. Landing in the space you're in right now. Taking this few moments for yourself. And we're gonna go on a little journey through your chakras to gain awareness what's going on in your body. You may or may not visualize something or get an answer. That's okay, just trust you'll get whatever you need. So I invite you first to just start to tune into what's called your aura, that space around you, like a bubble, 360 degrees. Just subtly notice this energy three to four feet out in front of you. And a lot of times we wake up or we go through our day and we have other people's energy in our space. So just notice and trust if anyone pops in that may be in your field right now. I'm just gonna separate to start. Part of owning our energy is separating from other people. Just notice if there's anyone that comes in, anyone you think of behind you, check each side of you. And maybe you notice one side feels lighter and brighter Maybe there's a little more tension in front of you or on a side of you or behind you. Just let it be interesting right now. And we just get curious from there. First step is just taking time and attention to build your awareness. And we'll come back to that. Just st if anyone came up, that's okay. Just let that be. And we're gonna tune in now to your root chakra, base of your spine. Notice what you feel here. Notice if there's any energy or tension present here. Is there anyone that you look to, to connect through for survival? Any fears or doubts about being able to survive on your own? Attaching to homes or money or businesses or relationships, other people or our health being a certain way that can often show up here. We just want to become more aware and in tune with what our patterns are. Is there anything you're afraid of losing or feeling like I need to go create something there because then I'll be okay? That shows up as disconnection in the first chakra here. All right, now we're just going to build our awareness. And then as you move up to your second chakra, it's your sacral, all about your creativity, sensuality, sexuality.
trusting that you have the energy and vitality and fire to create anything that you desire. And just tune in here and see, is there anybody that you look up to and admire for their sense of creativity? For how they show up in their sexuality, their sensuality. And those are just signals and places to be aware of and things that we want to integrate so we can also own ourselves and own our own energies and all these different centers to the fullest. So again, just let it be interesting. Are there places where you feel disconnected from yourself in this area? Disconnected from your vitality? Source of power of creation? And if you get an answer, great. And if not, that's okay. And we're gonna move up to the third, solar plexus. Just above your navel point. This area is all about you as you're building your identity. This is who you are. You're owning your confidence and self-worth to the fullest. Really knowing what you're here for and your purpose. And when it's closed or disconnected, it feels like we have to fit in or compare ourselves or compete with somebody. We're not quite living up to our potential and we get a little more emotional, our self-esteem goes up and down, or we get in and out of motivation of what we're doing instead of focusing on that inspiration and clarity of purpose. This is the energy of the sun, yellow, fuel. Vitality here comes from clarity and ownership of who you are, fully and completely in your gifts. And just notice how you tend to feel here, today, any patterns, anything you're aware of, any people come up. And then we're gonna move to the fourth chakra, your heart. And just check in here, what do you notice? Go right behind your heart as if you're just standing at the back of your body. Let's see how that feels. Do you tend to feel lonely, disconnected, unsupported? Or do you remember regardless if you're with somebody or not, you always have the support behind you, within you, and you're exactly where you need to be. Are you adaptable and flexible and in gratitude with what comes? Or does it feel challenging and you tend to get closed down or emotional, feel lonely or like something's missing? You're just a perception away to move from that space into really love of what you would love to create and have in your life. It's always a choice. And we are always abundant beings. It's just our job to do this work all the time. We don't feel that way to get to that place of connection and fullness within ourselves. And then moving up to your throat. Notice if there's an image, a color, a sensation. And what do you notice? Do you hold back from things you want to say? Does it feel challenging to communicate fully? fully expressed in your beliefs and who you are and your purpose. 
Do you swallow and hold it in? Or do you verbally express it out? Either way, those are points of disconnection. Or are you at with ease and grateful and graceful in the communication while you're separating from the other? Notice how easy and confident it is to speak your message. And then just see if there's a desire here and what that is. And take a deep breath. We're still gonna do two more. And we're gonna move up to the third eye chakra. This point just above and between your eyebrows, your pineal gland. This place of your intuition helping you to balance your mind. When we feel indecisive or stuck looping in our head, overwhelmed, unclear, uncertain, there's just something going on here that's worth looking at in our sixth chakra. This is integrating all your information so that you can access your highest knowing as you move up to your crown space just at the top of your head. It's your bridge between your spiritual and physical body. Who you are as a being, your essence of why you're here with this physical reality that we do to manifest and create what it is we want. This is where things can come with ease and where we own our highest information and your knowing. Sometimes people call this being in your genius zone or getting downloads, your flow comes in here through the crown. And the more we separate from other people and own our highest information, we have unlimited, infinite energy available to us. And when it's disconnected from spirit, we feel lack of life force. We feel lack of energy. We feel out of flow, off purpose. And disconnected as to what we really want. So we start seeking outside of ourselves. Remembering all we have to do is come back. One of the ways I was taught to do this that I love is going up and feeling the energy of the sun. Sometimes I feel as if I'm just floating all the way up. And see if you can do that right now until you feel that high, bright, golden light. And then see if you can go up even higher. And I imagine myself all the way up the sun, up in the sky, taking that in. Breathing that in fully, filling up with that highest bright light. As I bring it down, filling up that space as it reaches down towards my body. Filling up every cell in your being with this golden light as it enters through your crown. behind you, to your sides, in front of you. Allow this warm light to ooze into every part of you. And then feeling it root all the way out your feet down to the center of the planet. Below and above. And when we do journeys like this, this is something I like to call body scanning. And we can do these journeys every day. And then we ask different questions and then we can use them 
with different intentions. Oh, I want to spend more time in my eighth, getting more clarity. Oh, this person showed up. Let me integrate that in my heart now and go a little further with some different grounding tools and separating and owning my space. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Let me have energetic conversations with somebody I want to say something to and they don't need to be present. Maybe they've even passed away. And it's like they're right here right now. And we can do all these things. And it's almost like part of what you had asked of how do we connect? Well, if we can see somebody in our space, we have all the tools we need. It's just we practice it. And then all of a sudden, we can help heal our energy, other people's energy, and we can see the truth of what's going on. And the more we see that, the more we get to help offer them an opportunity for healing, knowing that they're not doing anything wrong. And you give yourself a healing. Mm 